Hi everyone. I recently had a comment on my How to Read Micrometers video from Frederick Darling asking, when you make a measurement, how do you know how much torque to apply when spinning or twisting the thimble? That is a really great question, and I just couldn't let the answer stay buried in the comment section of that video. So here it is in its own video. Of course, if you have any questions or topics you'd like to see me cover in a video, let me know in the comments section and I'll see what I can do. To answer the question at hand, if you have a ratchet or a friction thimble on your micrometer, go until it either clicks or slips, which both of these are doing because I have them locked. Most newer micrometers will have these features, but older mics and some specialty mics like this thread micrometer or this tubing micrometer might just have a plain solid thimble. If this is the case for you, grab the smooth part of the thimble and just let it slip in your fingers. However, this takes what's commonly referred to as a sense of feel to get consistent results and developing that takes some practice. So let's talk about how to do that. The best way to practice this is by measuring something with a known dimension like gauge blocks or gauge pins. This way you're starting with the correct dimension. So if you're getting any other measurement, you know the problem is most likely your technique. You can also close the mic against itself or a micrometer standard for the larger micrometers to make sure that it's reading zero. Either way, practice until you're getting that measurement consistently. Of course, you could just try this out with any old piece of material you have laying around, but the problem there is the dimensions of these may not be very accurate at all. The material you buy from the hardware store, metal yard, or industrial supplier all has a tolerance on its dimensions, and that tolerance can be quite wide. If you're going to go this route, try to stick with something with a ground finish, like a high-speed steel tool bit, end mill shank, or dowel pin. These should, at the very least, be square and parallel or round, although they could deviate quite a bit from their nominal dimensions. Just avoid anything that's rusty or covered in mill scale. Like before, practice until you're getting consistent measurements and get used to how the thimble feels when it slips through your fingers. Obviously, the amount of grip you use will change your results. Too little and your fingers slip early. Too much and you end up going past zero. You should also avoid looking at the graduations on the mic while you're practicing and go solely on feel. Otherwise, you run the risk of just wishing the measurement into existence, and that isn't going to help you when you're making real-world measurements. Mr. Darling actually asked about the torque required to turn the thimble while you're making a measurement, and that got me thinking of how I would go about testing that. Not for any practical use or anything, just because I think it might be interesting. I have some crazy ideas involving a very small torque wrench and various adapters for each micrometer, but if you've got some insight into how I should do it, let me know what you think down in the comments. In the meantime, I can think of a couple of real-world analogs that everyone can probably relate to, such as the amount of force used to turn a screw in a tapped hole, or the amount of force used to hit the like and subscribe buttons. Thanks again to Mr. Darling for asking such a thought-provoking question, and thanks a whole lot to all my patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel just like the super cool people you see on your screen right now, check out the link in the description. You might also want to check out these other videos. On the right, I have a playlist of all of my other videos on measuring tools. On the upper left, I have the video that spawned this question, and on the lower left, there's a video that YouTube thinks you'll like just as much as this one. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you next time.